In this lesson, we're going to have a quick look at how the error system works in Node.js. In the last lesson, we looked at some of the functions of the DNS module in terms of looking up domain names and IP addresses. And you may have noticed that all of the functions had a very similar format in that they all accepted a callback as the final argument, which in itself had two arguments, an error and a value. And this pattern is something that's very common across all of the node modules, where in the callback, the first argument is actually an error. And this is usually referred to as an error first callback. So to just demonstrate this, let's actually cause an error in our DNS lookup function. And I'll do this just by giving it a non-existing domain to lookup. So if we save and run the code now, you'll see we get an error saying that the address isn't found. And just to demonstrate where this is happening, I'll actually change that console.log here. So you can see the ERR argument in the callback is where the error is present. So you might have learned from previous JavaScript lessons, including the JavaScript Essentials lesson that we have on Junior Developer Central, that in order to handle errors, you need to wrap everything in a try catch block. So you might expect to have code that looks like this, where you have the call to dns.lookup inside of a try catch. But if we run the code again, you'll see the console.log on line six is the only one that gets printed out. And that's because the try catch block can't actually recognize any errors occurring in asynchronous code, which is exactly what the dns.lookup function is performing. So just to demonstrate this even further, if we were to remove this if statement and the console.log up here and run the code again, you'll see we get no error in the catch block. And because value is undefined, we get absolutely no output from this code. So that's why it's important to be aware of this error first callback pattern and make sure you're paying attention to it within the code that you're writing. Just as a final example, we'll see how this works when trying to open up files with the file system module that don't exist. So here I'll just try and open a file that doesn't exist. And as you can see, the error is printed out and we can handle any errors inside of that if statement. So for example, we could use the return keyword to stop any further execution of the function. So it's quite a simple concept, but it's very important to understand that all of these callbacks are error first in Node. And it's also handy to remember to check for errors first before dealing with any data that's returned from the function that you're calling.